2012 spring training uh, last year. You got your first taste of the big leagues. What was that like to finally make, make it to the big leagues and realize your dream? Ah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, you put it perfectly. It, it was a dream come true. You know, it's something you work towards from the time you, you pick up a baseball. You know, you, you have this dream of being a, a major league baseball player. And, you know, finally last year that came true. And, you know, it was a great feeling. A, a very good job by the bullpen last year in 2011. Uh, how tight is that group and helping each other and watching, knowing that everybody has each other's backs? I think it was a very close knit group. I think that, you know, was a big key to our success is everybody wanted to pick each other up. You know, if a guy, you know, had a rough outing and left a couple guys in there, someone came in and got the job done. And, you know, nobody, everybody took it very seriously. And, you know, they almost cared about other people's runs more than they cared about their own. And, you know, I think that that goes a long way and says a lot about what we got, you know, the chemistry we got going on down there. You came up early on, but what were the, some of the things that you worked on early in the season in Indianapolis that helped you succeed in the big leagues? I think it was a lot about command. Um, you know, realizing that you have to get ahead, hitter, get, get ahead of hitters to have success. Um, you know, when you fall behind, that you know, there's there's no lying. The numbers tell the truth. You know, you fall behind, hitters become really good hitters, and you become very predictable. And when you get ahead, you, you got them guessing a little bit more, and you got a little bit mar more margin for error. Colorado, uh, your your first career appearance. What was what was your memories of coming in from the bullpen and? and uh, making your first big league appearance? I remember it was freezing. Uh, it was really cold. I wasn't sure if I was shaking because I was nervous or if I was shaking because it was cold. But, um, you know, it was just, it was unbelievable. It, you know, it was an amazing experience. It's it's something that I'll never forget. Um, you know, I got to face the reigning NL batting champion as the first guy I faced in the big leagues. So, you know, it, it was just a lot of fun and something, I'll, a memory I'll cherish for forever. This, this team was a team that stuck around for 100 games last year. At one point, they're in first place late in July. Uh, What's it mean knowing that you guys know how to win, believe you can win coming into 2012? Uh, I mean, I, th I think that's huge. You know, it started here last year with, with Clint. And, you know, he said, you know, we're a lot better than people want to give us credit for. And we were, and we showed it. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of optimism, and that carried over. And this year, you know, it's even, you know, we take it even further because we did win. And, you know, we know what we can do. Now we just have to do it for a complete season. And I, I think that's something that we're excited about. I think that's something that Pirates fans should be excited about. And, you know, I know personally I'm really excited to get the season started. As a guy who is a, a former first-round pick, and now you have Garrett Cole here in camp for his first big league camp, have you had an opportunity to talk to him about what that's like of being the, the first-round pick and getting all the headlines and, and knowing what the expectations can be? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, having gone through it myself, he's actually, you know, in my small group. Um, you know, we're in the same group together, so we do get to uh, interact and talk a little bit more. And, um, you know, he's a good kid. He's, uh, I think, probably mature beyond his years. And, uh, you know, I think he's got a very bright future, and it's going to be exciting, you know, when you finally get to see him put on, put on a uniform and compete against other teams because it's just some pretty good stuff. There's been a lot of talk about finishing the job, finishing the pitch, finishing the out, finishing the, the, the at-bat. Uh, if those few things happen, it sounds so, so simple, but when that happens, what good things can happen to this team? Well, nothing about this game is simple, first of all. Um, but, you know, the, the big key is finish. You know, we got off to a great start. We played four months of really solid, good baseball. Now we got to carry that over for the last two months, and, and that's going to be a lot of finishing. You know, and you can take that into whatever aspect you want, but we have to finish. You know, we, we've got to maintain the toughness that we had the first four months into the last two. and. You know, if we can do that, you never know what can happen.